I had met Jim Brooks uh, at a party, and uh, he and I and his wife and mine were, got to like each other, and we'd see each other at mostly socially. And uh, Jim, who had the, the, the bad taste to actually write a spec script for my mother, the car, uh, that was one of his first writing jobs. He, after he had been a uh, he'd been a documentary writer at Wolper Productions, done a lot of pretty good stuff, but he didn't want to do documentaries the rest of his life. He wanted to do comedy. He liked what I was doing. And he was always asking me, "What are you doing now?" What, you know. And uh, he he was uh, unwise enough to have written a spec script for the worst series of all time. And uh, we made it, and, and I think a couple of others that he wrote too. Was this the first produced half hour of James L. Brooks television? I believe that to be true, although I could be wrong. There could have been another half hour hanging around there somewhere. But that is at least the beginning of your professional association was My Mother the Car. That's right. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> so. Jim called me up. I had not seen him for a little while, and he called me up and he said, uh, I wrote this pilot for ABC called Room 222, and Gene Reynolds produced it and directed it, and I'm really happy with it. I think it's really good. What are you doing right now? Well, at that moment, I had just been had my script, my movie script, turned down, and I said, well, as a matter of fact, I'm not doing anything much. And he said, would you come over and look at this pilot? Because we've gotten picked up for uh, 13, and I'm, I'm really gonna need some help. And so I went over and I looked at this pilot, and I said, Jim, you know, really, I decided I wanna do movies. And he said, well, but just, just humor me, come over and look at this. So I came over and looked at it. I thought it was the most wonderful pilot. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but I, it was a very, very smart show. And I said, okay, where do I sign up? Because I, I will write some for you. On a, on a freelance basis, I will write some. So I started doing that with Jim and Gene. And, uh, Gene had a very, uh, specific way of working. He believed in doing a lot of research. And apparently when he and Jim hooked up to do Room 222 in the first place, it being about a sort of an inner city high school, you know, he said to Jim, how much do you really know about inner city high schools? And Jim says, well, not much. And he said, then we're going to do research on this. And they started hanging out at LA High School which was in a, an area, it, it had, LA High School had been the high school of choice for all the people of of society, really, because it was in Hancock Park, just below Hancock Park in, in L.A., which, of course, was the hoi polloi in those days. And, uh, but it had, as the, the, uh, the neighborhood had, had become more and more racially diverse, it, the whole tone of the school changed and it became a real inner city high school with, with uh, uh, un, un, ununiformed police uh, patrolling the, the hallways and looking for drugs and all that kind of stuff. So Jim and, had done a tremendous amount of research and Gene in, in, in doing this pilot. And so when I went over there, I thought, rather, you know, uh, we'll just start by doing a, a story. And Gene said, ah, oh, not, not so fast. You're going to go down to L.A. High like everybody. I'm making every writer go down and hang around and learn what it's really, what it really feels like. It was quite a learning experience. Because I had never experienced, uh, you know, any kind of a school like that in my life. It was, uh, you could feel the tension in there, you know. So, uh, 
And then Gene was really specific about, you just didn't come in and say, I'd like to do a story about thus and so and go off and do it. You would sit down with him and Jim and, and really work a story out. And it could take days to work a story out. Uh, you come up, have an idea, but then he may, Gene loved to, to, to make notes on blackboards or actually I think what he did was he used to have uh, uh, index cards that he'd write things on and put them up on a, on a blackboard. Had all the index cards were all waxed on the back, and you put them up, and then you could move them around. You could you you could change your story by moving the index cards around, and the index cards would have indications of what the characters were doing, what they were saying, all this kind of stuff. And it was you'd have a by the time you got a story worked out, you had almost an entire bulletin board filled with these cards, in which some secretary was taking notes would hand you the notes from the story. You would then go back and write up the story outline. And only then, and, and, and the adjustments were made at that point too, and only then could you go into script. So it was a very, very intensive project. I, I don't think I've ever worked on a show uh, up to that point that was as uh, time intensive. And, and, and labor intensive. We came up with great stories just by hanging around LA High. Uh, about, I, I remember I did one about a, uh, a, a girl who, the, 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 the lead guy, whose name was Pete Dixon, uh, African American guy played by Lloyd Haynes. And Pete was the real focal point of the, of the uh, Room 222 was his room in the he taught history and um, he uh, there was one that I wrote that had to do with discovering that a girl that he met and started to date and took home and kissed turned out to be one of the students at the school which is something that had actually happened to one of the people we were talking to this very mature girl that he had never seen in the school he takes her out, they meet it after a movie or something like that, they have a little flirtation. He takes her home, kisses her in the car, she goes in the next day, she comes bopping in saying, hi Mr. Dixon. And that was a great story. And I never would have come up with that kind of a story on my own, you know. But th that was the kind of research that, that went, you know, finding out from teachers how it really worked. 